good, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Uncut Coffee. First off, I want to give a huge shout out to Brain3. He is a supporter of our Patreon. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about what he said to me in a message without exposing too much. But basically, um, in Brain3, I hope you don't get mad at me for this, but he said that he was a bit tipsy when he subscribed to my Patreon, but he does not regret it because he realizes the dedication that I and we put into this channel. Guys, every time I upload a video, I fight with YouTube, but it's finally starting to get better and things are coming together. I also want to give a huge shout out to every single one of you guys, and all new welcome, all newcomers are welcome. Anyways guys, today's video is going to be an inside look of prison life, recorded by contraband cell phones that are usually brought in by the guards that are underpaid by the government. For people who have never done time before, being in prison is a whole different world and even the guards that work there almost become inmates themselves. You can't order cell phones on canteen. Uh, your visitors can't bring them into you. Well, they can, but it's pretty hard and not comfortable. Um, so people bring them in nine times out of ten. It's the guards and they make a lot of money doing it. Um, anyways, guys, without further ado, let's jump to the first video. Let's get it. Now, like I said previously, prison guards do not make much money. They make decent money, but not nearly enough for the job that they do. Also, keep in mind, some of the inmates in jail are drug dealers. Some of them may even be kingpins. A lot of these inmates have hustles while they're in there, and they make thousands upon thousands of dollars by having things brought into them and sold. So, a lot of times what happens is the inmate will pay a female guard to have intercourse with him, or the female guard may be desperate and doesn't get much male attention on the outside and has many opportunities to get it on the inside. This clip was recorded by an inmate's cell phone who caught a guard going into another inmate's room with the lights turned off and turning the lights off and then leaving. I wonder what she was doing. Yeah, man. This how this shit is where we at, man. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all I got down. You know what I'm saying? Whenever it rain, whenever it rain outside, it rain inside. Look at that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? We on the top tier. You know, got down. No, as we on the top tier, man. You got rain just coming from. I'm talking about just pouring in this bitch. You know, look on the floor, man. You know, someone's just stepping all in water, man. You know, but our people pay all the taxes and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, they pay all their tax and everything in the world, man. You know what I'm saying? To keep things like this in it. And he is absolutely right. All of the taxes that everybody pays, go, go, part of it goes towards prisons. It is the warden's responsibility to make sure the prison is up to human standards. And what you are seeing now is far from human standards. What they do is they take a lot of that tax money and they give more raises to employees, mostly sergeants, captains, people of higher, you know, authority. Uh, they give less food to the employees, so they get bigger bonuses at the end of the year. I know that for a fact. And that's all your tax money. Going to make these prison wardens richer and officials more rich. In the greatest of conditions. But, you know, you got one dude who had to put a down shower curtain up in front of his, his uh, cell. You know what I'm saying? The shit got down, torn down so bad, you know. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know, now I got most of it up now, but you know what I'm saying? But yeah, you know, still put some thing down so you know some more water won't run in the cell or whatever, but I'm gonna look up some. See this is the ceiling here. This is where the light set up at, you know what I'm saying, at the top. You know what I'm saying? None of the lights work, you know what I'm saying? But you got water just pouring in this mother, man. You know what I'm saying? Crazy man, that don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? But, but everywhere though, on the top, you know what I'm saying, all around, man, it's water just pouring in. Now, a lot of people are going to say, well, these prisoners shouldn't have broke the law in the first place and they wouldn't be in prison. And they got a point. It's simple. You don't break the law, you don't go to prison. But as that water is leaking, that means people are going to get sick. And when people get sick, it requires medical attention. And those doctors, they get paid. And guess how they get paid? They get paid with your tax money. This don't make no sense. No sense to get our people pay taxes, though. They pay their taxes and everything. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? We don't live in no type of good condition. Period. None. 
concrete jungle, man. That we can sit it. That what I can sit it anyway. No. Look, no, even with the lights on top, man, you got water coming in from the from the top, from the ceiling there too. You know what I'm saying? No, you ain't got you ain't got to worry about me walking around with the phone cleaning nobody never in the tower. Did you see what he just said that he doesn't have to worry about walking around with his contraband phone because no one's in the no one's in the guard tower? He said no one's ever in the tower. This is prison. There is violent people in there and people really do get hurt and killed. And there is always supposed to be a guard in that tower at all times. They're supposed to take shifts. So this is another mistake from the prison. I don't know what they're trying to do. Maybe they're trying to save money by not having to pay. They're already underpaid regular correctional officers. But this is wrong and there should be a guard in that tower at all times. Hey, well, so this is where the toilet is at. I said, oh, this in the bathroom, man. This, this is what we're living in, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, it's, it's so stinky here, man. You know what I'm saying? It make, make me want to shit on myself, man. Just use the bathroom on myself. What you're about to see may change your perception of what's happening behind bars. The Channel 4 I team investigation exposes shocking video and photograph of what's apparently happening in our prisons. Inmates having a good time while your tax dollars pay for their food and housing. Right? I believe I'm smoking better than everybody. Mounds of snacks, cash, getting tattoos. Now, if you guys are not aware, cash money, like real dollar bills, are not allowed in prison. Reason being is because there's no need for it. Prisoners get money put on their books. That goes on their card, and they go to the canteen, and whatever money that they have on their books, they can buy snacks and goodies and stuff like that. And there's nothing wrong with that, because it's rough in there, and the food that the government feeds them is horrible. Uh, tattoos in prison has been going on for a very long time. I know that for a fact, but I'm not going to tell you guys. Uh, just trust me, take my word for it. Uh, there's only one reason a prisoner would have real cash on him, and that would be to pay the guards to bring in contraband such as cell phones and other things. Even set things on fire using forbidden technology to show it all off on Facebook. This is the penitentiary here. Back in there relaxing, you know what I'm talking about? Relaxing, eating pizza. That's the world right there. That's convicted murderer Rivera Peoples. Here's the contraband iPhone he uses to make the videos. Listen to his buddy talk about getting high behind bars. I believe I'm smoking better than everybody. Then he asked Peoples about how much money he's collected while he's been in prison. How much money you got, Bill? A thousand? I got a thousand. I'm a thousand. I'm definitely a thousand. And he's not alone. Here's a photo we found of an inmate holding $200. And just to make a comment, $200 is not much in real life, but in prison, that is a crazy amount of money to have. And another inmate shared the same photo on his Facebook page, just like you would share a picture you liked. But let's get back to the videos. You see me? Peoples and his criminal pals are back. This time, it's daytime in the prison yard, telling everyone on Facebook that life behind bars, not so tough. Between me and you, man, you feel me? This ain't half bad. There's video of inmates watching TV, singing, and rapping. It was so real, it fills me with this nausea. <laughs> Now, prisoners get caught up all the time, and the way they get caught up is because they go on social media and they post pictures and stuff like that. That is a really stupid idea. Me, personally, the only reason I'd have a cell phone if I was in prison was to communicate with my family, and I would not post nothing online. Because what happens is the guards that work there, they know these guys by name. And they just simply go on Facebook or any other social media account, look for their account, and boom, find it. And then the prisoner gets hit with a felony charge, gets to spend a lot of time in the box. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's a felony charge to have a cell phone in prison. It appears that they have took something and covered up the door. Parker looked at every photo and every video we found. Shit, 
And here we have it, another prison with inmates with more money than a lot of people on the street have. I'm sorry, but this all boils down to the underpaid guards. There's many ways contraband items get into these correctional facilities. One way is they have drones that drop a package to the inmates while they're on the yard. Another way is visitation, and they bring it in in what's called their prison pocket. And if you don't know what that is, I'd rather not tell you. And the third way is the guards. A lot of these inmates are not your average criminals. A lot of them have serious ties to the streets with lots, lots of money and lots of connections. Come on, that shit! <laughs> I'm taking a piss, you know that. Hey! See where you ride, nigga! Hey, T, I'm not from Billy. Billy go back with the sunny. Hey, T. So this is a worldwide problem. It's not only prisons in North America where inmates have illegal cell phones, it's in other countries as well. Now, to be honest, do I think it's a bad idea for inmates to have cell phones? In my opinion, not really, but that's just my opinion. And at the same time, if there's like a convicted murderer or some type of horrible criminal that committed a inhumane act, no. I believe they deserve to suffer, but most inmates are in jail or prison for petty things such as burglary or possession of controlled substances. Now this clip here has nothing to do with illegal cell phones in prison, but I was amazed when I seen it and this is something that I have never seen before. As you are about to see, this inmate squeezes through the lunch tray slot and gets out with an attempt to escape. Those slots are not that big, and I'm guessing he would have had to starve himself for at least a couple weeks to lose the weight to be able to even fit through it. Tonight, a correctional officer is facing charges after investigators say she tried to provide an inmate with, a contra with contraband inside a state prison. She's... Keontae Stroman, the Department of Corrections, say, says that she tried to bring a cell phone and charger inside Turbyville Correctional in Clarendon County. They say the items were found in her state-issued vest during a search as she entered the prison. She told investigators the inmate was going to pay her $700 for the phone and charger. She was hired in April of this year but has now been fired. See guys, I told you, what they do is they go to the pawn shop, they'll pick up a cheap smartphone that costs maybe anywhere from 50 to 100 bucks, you know, just a basic cheap smartphone, smuggle it into prison and sell it to an inmate for $700. So that means she turned her $50 or whatever it was into 700. But anyways guys, that's all I got for you today. I wanna give a shout out to Iceberg Knowledge, follow him on Instagram. And hey, also follow me on Instagram. You'll see the link in the description of this video. And if you find it in your heart to donate, just look in the description. There's multiple ways you can do so starting at $3. Uh, for the ones who do donate, please let me know so I can recognize you and give you a huge shout out in the video and a thank you. So you know what it is, guys. Stay safe. Stay smart. Yours truly. Uncut Coffee.